So now we get to the final attribute of the martial body system. This attribute is, again, very difficult to train, but not for the same reasons as the uh, different bodies that came before it. Now we're going to be looking at the freedom that is developed through mind and awareness training in the fluid body. So perhaps the most important of all of the different attributes of the martial body system and martial arts in general is our ability to be free to move in accordance with the ever-changing conditions that we find ourselves in. It's no good to be uh, heavy, stable, connected, agile and complex in our movement if every time we go to move we're stuck because we can't think of what to do next. So the final body of the six is really developed to unleash the powers of the previous five. It is the fluid body attribute and this is entirely concerned with our ability to be changeable, with our ability to flow and be fluid with the ever-changing conditions of either the fight or encounter or with the ever-changing conditions of our solo training and the conditions we find in our own bodies. So there are several ways in which we develop flow and fluidity. Firstly, we must be able to recognize the moment. So much of the training in fluid body is concerned with helping our mind to be aware of the current situation that we find ourselves in. We use techniques from meditation and awareness training to enact and bring about this ability to be here and now so that we can recognize what is exactly happening without any preconceived notions of what maybe should be happening or what happened earlier. But we then need to test how we can apply that ability to be in the moment. And that's where all of the movement games and, and, and seemingly strange and random drills come in. We need to test and tax our ability to be right here, right now, dealing with a complex task. So the fluid body is trained in a very different way to many of the others. We don't do a huge amount of, of fixed foundational exercises. The only things that we really do in the fluid body that are fixed are meditation techniques for um, momentary awareness and awareness training of what's happening in our body, what's happening around us, uh, what happens when we move, these sorts of things. But then we need to, um, as I say, test our ability to flow and be in the moment. And that only comes when we are doing things that we've not done before. So the fluid body is very fluid in its approach to training. And in fact, I encourage people to invent brand new things to test and tax our bodies as we train. The big mistake that I see in fluid body training is that people try to apply it to movements that they already know. So when we're looking at how to create fluidity, what we really need to do is give someone movement puzzles and patterns that they've never seen before. So the mind has to adapt and work right now in the moment. This means that many of the drills that you see in fluid body seemingly don't even relate to martial arts. We use tennis balls, for instance, hitting them off a wall or throwing them behind us and turning and catching them. We use sticks to do movement drills. We do uh, movement drills with uh, gym balls or weights. And all of these things don't apply to normal martial arts movement. But what they are doing is taxing our ability to be here and now and uh, solve puzzles on the fly. As soon as a drill or method becomes common or, or, or second nature, we have to reject it and start with a new drill. So the fluid body is very much about invention and creating things that really test and tax our ability to move both in complex ways and with all of the previous attributes, but also in ways that uh, enforce this idea of flowing. Fluid body is a exciting and interesting area of martial body training and certainly one that although it seems very easy is one of constant discovery and one that helps to produce the really effective martial body skill. If you'd like to train some of the fluid body methods head over to martialbody.com and check out our foundations course on the fluid body attribute. Thank you.